Okay, this is a, another app by Pixwise um, that is called Simplex Spelling Phonics One, and uh, following along in their series of apps, it again is an outstanding application. Um, let's go ahead and go to the home screen where we'll look at a few things before we get started. Adding um, user accounts. different users is very easy. Create a user, delete a user, rename or select a user. We've got Benjamin already in there, so we will select Benjamin. It keeps uh, a graph your progress or data of your progress and it breaks it down into words that are mastered and words that are practiced how many times that you have attempted to get them and how many times you've got them right um, the word lists are broken down into a huge selection of of uh, exercises and on this app alone there are 42 different types of exercises um, to to work on uh, if we press the question mark if you spell a word without making any mistakes or using the hint button, it will appear on your mastered list. Otherwise, it will appear on your practice list. It gives you a short uh, explanation of what that is all about. So let's go back out to the home screen. Um, let's go to choose a spelling list and we're going to go over the introduction. If I were to go through every one of these personally, uh, one by one, we'd be here for a few days because it's that in depth and it's that good. Um, so we're going to go through the introduction, which, uh, like it, it does, introduces you to this app. It gives you a good idea of what's it about. And uh, then I'll show you a couple of other examples. So let's restart the introduction. Hello, and welcome to the lessons within Simplex Spelling. The large button at the top of the lesson box is the phonogram button. You can tap on it to hear the sounds covered within the lesson. The slider is currently set for practice so that students will not see their scores after reaching the end of the list. You can tap on the teacher icon if you wish to hear the lesson again. And once you're ready to start spelling words, simply tap on the arrow button at the bottom right. This lesson focuses on the letter O that makes the A, ah, O, oh, and O sounds. Okay, so what they're talking about here with not having any score is you can move this button show scores. over to show them or not to show no them. Scores. If you click on the teacher icon here, it'll retell you what we just heard. Uh, let's go ahead and start the exercises. Hi, welcome to Simplex Spelling. Use the keyboard to spell the word at the top of the screen. Spell the word top. Okay, before we get started, I'm going to go quickly into settings. You can see what we've got here. Voice volume, sound effects volume, all adjustable. Spelling language, English, Canadian, and British. Believe it or not, there is a difference. Um, success messages, on or off. We're going to leave that on, and I'll, I'll show you what that is later on. Uh, uppercase and lowercase, you can simply switch like this. We'll leave it on lowercase. And keyboard layout, you can have ABC in alphabetical order, um, or you can have uh, the QWERTY keyboard uh, if you're familiar with that. So we're going to leave it as it is. We'll go back out. Hi. Welcome to Simplex Spelling. Use the keyboard to spell the word at the top of the screen. Spell the word top. Okay, and as you can see on the bottom here, we've run word 1 of 10 in the introduction, and we're going to just follow the instructions and go through this to show you how this app works. Let's move on. Not. If you make a mistake and you do not want the letter that you just chose, you can use the backspace key to remove this letter. Spell the word not. Okay, so I'll make a slight mistake here. I put a P instead of a T, but we can use the backspace to remove that. If you want to hear it again, you can simply press... Not. If you make a mistake and you do not want the letter that you just chose, you can use the backspace key to remove this letter. Spell the word not. Okay, let's move on. On. Press the button with a white star on it and use the phonogram sound buttons to spell the word on. Okay, so we'll press ah, this button mm. and you get the phonograms ah. when you click on these. Mm. And the ones in blue will fit into the space. The ones that are not blue um, will not. Now you may get a number of them that are blue in the same line, meaning that they have the same uh, sound. So you have to, you know, it's not just a matter of clicking on those buttons and pressing what's blue. You still have to pay attention to what will fit. On two, you can drag a letter from the keyboard to any position within the spelling word. Spell the word on two by dragging each letter from the keyboard onto your word. 
on to. Okay, so that instead of touching the letter like this, to remove that, we will drag it into place. In two. If you see a blue letter in your spelling word, it means that you've chosen the right letter, but it's in the wrong place. You can drag this letter left or right to move it to the correct position. When you spell the word in two, mix up some of the letters and then drag them into place. In two. Okay, so let's get one of the letters, uh, well, two of the letters out of place. So we have IN and OT. We need to switch the T and the O around and you can see that they're blue, meaning that they are the correct letters, but they are in the wrong position. So you simply take one of these and move it over. Spot. Once you spell your word correctly, you will get a success word. You can tap on any spot of this success word to hear what it says. Spell the word spot. Okay, so the success word is this one. Mastered. Moving on. Two. Whenever you want to check your progress, just tap on the graph icon to find out the number of times you've attempted a word and the number of times you've mastered it. Spell the word two. And that simply is the graph icon down here that we showed you at the beginning of the demonstration. And you can see that we mastered that word because we got it right without any um, misspellings. So that will come up as a mastered word on the graph. Go. If you feel you need help, Press on the question mark at any time, and you will go to the help menu. Spell the word go. Okay, so let's have a look at the help menu. Help this menu. is a very nice feature. It comes up with all the icons and what they do. So if you touch one of these, and we'll touch two or three, it'll tell you all about the, uh, the function. Letters that have a red background with a trash can are not needed to spell the word. You can press these or the backspace key to delete the letter. You can drag the keyboard letters onto your spelling word, or simply press them to type a letter. If you need to remove a letter, you can use the backspace key. After completing the word, press the next button to try the next word. And so on, and you can go through all of that, which is really, really nice and handy to have until you've learned the app. Go. If you feel you need help, press on the question mark at any time, and you will go to the help menu. Spell the word go. I'm going to show you what happens when we have um, letters that we don't need and that are out of place. So we have the G in the correct place as it has a green background. The H is in the uh, is the wrong letter for the for the spelling. The O is the correct letter but it's in the wrong position and J is not needed at all. So we can move this over and we can simply trash those letters to get the correct answer. Icon. If you look at the top of the screen, you should see an icon of a teacher. This is the lesson icon. If you tap on it, you will hear the lesson that pertains to your current spelling list. Spell the word icon. And we're not going to tap on it, but the teacher is up here, so you can do that and repeat uh, the instruction for the lesson. From now on, I will say a spelling word, use it in a sentence, and then say the spelling word again. For example, for the word so, I could say so. I am so happy you want to learn to spell so. Good job for working through the list. Okay, and that brings us to the end of the introduction. So you can either replay that by clicking on here, or we can go back out into... The letter A makes the short sound A ah in English words such as bag and hat. The real world, as I like to call it. And what we're going to do is we're going to go back out bag. to the home menu and look at the spelling list. So you've learned how to use the app, and then you can go into here and choose any of the uh, options we have here. So you can work on the short U, the short E, the long A, uh, the long O with the OE. Um, so many options. It's absolutely the app is absolutely amazing. I'm, I'm one of the 
apps I'm so excited about using with my kids. Um, the double L endings, the TH, the CK, the QU. So for example, if I click on the QU, we'll start that one. The letter combination QU makes the Q sound. In English words, the letter Q must always be followed by the letter U. We'll turn the score on so I can show you the scores. graph. Let's go ahead and do a couple of these. Quiz. Are you ready for the quiz tomorrow? You'll quiz. notice that the word is used in a sentence. And just showing you that we got one wrong, we'll press a hint. Z. Z. And you'll see that the S or the Z could be used because they've got a f familiar sound or a similar sound. So it's not just a given. Okay, now we didn't master that word. Pay attention to that when we go back quit. to the graph. I can't seem to quit sneezing. Quit. Move them around if you've got them in the wrong position. Quite. It is quite a nice day today. Quite. And we mastered that one. So let's go back to the graph. Quiet. You need to. I want to progress. show you the progress on what we uh, did on the QU words. If we pull up the list, you'll see we attempted quiz, quit, and quiet. Quiz and quit we attempted, but we didn't master. And the ones that we mastered was quite. So that shows you how that works. Going back out. Um, quiet. Takes you back you to the lesson, to but going back to the home screen, you can restart the list, you can choose another list, or you can continue where you were. So it's, a, it's an extremely uh, deep app, and like I showed you earlier, you have uh, amazing uh, 42 different lessons within the app that will uh, certainly help your child to uh, learn spelling and phonics. And I hope you enjoyed that demonstration of Simplex Spellings Phonics 1.